Hey guys, what's up Captain Turbo here and welcome to the final section of the game. We're finally here after f on the 57th part. Fuck me, this is the longest let's play I've ever done. And not for the right reasons either. Now, I'm going to explain a couple things. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to make free parties. Uh, so I'm going to try and mix it up as best I can. Uh, but I'll get more into that in a few moments. Um, I said before in a much earlier part that I was thinking of doing Kefka's Tower live commentary again. Uh, and that was originally the plan until a couple weeks ago because uh, these next few parts were all recorded uh, pretty recently, like just a couple weeks ago as I said, like three weeks back. Um, but it's been so hot here and I went a good month and a half very, very ill on and off practically every day and I just didn't feel like doing commentary, I wouldn't have been able to provide commentary properly anyway, I'd probably been coughing and all that and sneezing like cr crazy. Uh, so I, I thought I'll just record it, get it over and done with, and you know what, I'm glad I did to be honest because Kefka's Tower didn't have, uh, Kefka's Tower kind of was the final straw for me, uh, well not final straw, sorry, the final hurdle, because I had a couple more save screw ups, again. Not many, not as many as uh, the Fanatics Tower, but I had a, like once or twice where it completely fucked me over. And I'm doing a very, very stupid thing here by putting my best team together. You know, I should be breaking these guys up and giving all the teams here a fair uh, chance. I was very stupid with how I handled this, but thankfully I managed to prevail overall, even with these pretty poor setup choices. Uh, but it did kind of haunt me on a couple bosses that are coming up soon. So we have my favorite four in the first group. We have Scion, Locke, um, I'm just checking out what Gogo is all about there, but I, I didn't really, he's the only one actually that we've got. Uh, team, what should we call one? Uh, we'll call Team A, Team Blonde, because even Terra's blonde in the um, Japanese version. I uh, will call Team 2 Team Bros, I guess, because it's all guys, and we'll call Team 3 uh, Team Leftovers. So here we are, Kefka's Tower. You've got to go through, <coughs> excuse me. Certain areas of the game, or the air, uh, the tower, sorry, with all three teams, you gotta use each of the teams to um, help each other out, and that's pretty much it. To be honest, it, it, it's another dungeon. It's got a couple puzzles. It's got some very high level, pretty high levels. Um, sorry, uh, enemies here. Uh, team Blondo will have absolutely no issue taking these things down. The other two teams will have a bit more difficulty, but not. Nothing too bad. The only thing that really causes me much trouble at all, to be honest, in this um, part of the game is the actual boss fights. Everything else is pretty... Uh, I wouldn't say easy, but it's not difficult. There's only one or two... There's only a handful of uh, enemies that actually cause me to uh, fucking pull my hair out. Uh, and these two aren't them. We've got a primeval dragon and a... Uh, great Malbora. Uh, the Great Malboras, or the Malboras, I, from what I hear, are really worse in the 3D games. Uh, 7 and I think 8, they can cause a lot of different status effects on you. I don't think they can cause as many in this one, just things like poison. I might be wrong on that, but I think that's how it goes. Edward learned the rise, saving again the level, and we gain some more gil. It's not like we can use it now though. I probably, and this is a big mistake on my part, uh, between this and the previous part, I should have probably gone off screen and bought some more uh, ethers and stuff. Uh, didn't really think to do it and kind of came back to bite me in the ass. Cause I, I, well, it didn't really bite me in the ass or anything, but I was running low on stuff, let's put it that way, towards the end of the game. Uh, great Bayamoth here. Uh, pretty powerful. Can do quite a bit of physical damage. Uh, has quite a large amount of health as well, but nothing too worrying, especially with this uh, group.
As you can see though, Terra is down. She got hit pretty hard. Uh, Behemoth also has a desperation attack called the Haymaker. It'll try and punch you while he dies. It can also do quite a bit of damage as well, so be careful of that. Alright, Bad Breath. Uh, apparently it doesn't cause poison, it causes- oh it does cause poison I think, it causes poison and imp. Oh, it, it causes poison, imp, and I think that's blindness. So it does actually cause quite a few um, issues with bad bra. Get that finger mint. Yeah, we're gonna have a couple. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, as I said, I tend to edit out a lot of uh, random battles here. Uh, not all of them, just some of them. Every time we get a new enemy, though, I do show it. We've got the outsider, and we've got a what's her name? Cherry. Okay. I also know her as level 90 magic. Who keep my ass? Uh, the Outsider is not exactly the strongest, but he does have the few Mr. Sh Shurukens, which can be annoying. And that's one of them down anyway. And I keep thinking that they're going to use magic here, which is why I keep having Slash use um, Relic. Not Relic, sorry. Um, God, what you call that move now? Runic, sorry. Not Relic, Runic. Uh, this was actually a mistake on my part. I meant to use him for myself to get rid of it. But surprisingly enough, it actually worked on her. That's the first time I've ever got to work on an enemy. Still has a pretty high... Um, a uh, pretty large amount of health though. Alright, got some more stuff. Terrell and Tornado, Graviga, Graviga, whatever that was. Uh, unfortunately, we need to get rid of some of the ailments on us right now. Get rid of the Imp as well. Go check out the box. We got a fixed dice, which I think is a weapon for set, sir. I'm not certain. Oh, it might be like a one-use weapon or item. I'm not sure. I think I do eventually find out. I'm not certain though. So it's been a couple of weeks since I recorded this, so. Uh, carrying on here with Saban's party. If you ever want to switch parties, all you gotta do is press select. Yeah, I edited that fight out there as you can see because it was just the uh, same as a earlier encounter, so... And stay... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, here's the... <coughs> dead end. You know, so we need to wait here while we get the other party um, here as well. And they can flick a switch. And Sign's probably the. Sign and Lock probably the best two we've got on this uh, team right now. Make sure they have some decent equipment. Uh, what do I end up giving Lock? I think I give him the Winged Edge. Yes, I do. And yeah, um, by the looks of things, guys, we're not going to see Shadow for the rest of the game. Shadow went home and never came back. <sighs> I'm not sure, but... I think you need to do something in the uh, Coliseum to get Shadow back for the main... 
uh, for the Kafka's Tower or the uh, second um, half of the game. So yeah, I'm just pretty much... Yeah, he does use the fixed dice. I don't know why I couldn't find it in the uh, thing. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't um, find Shadow. Yeah, so apparently I'm just looking at um, a quick guide here. You do need to do something at the Coliseum to get Shadow back for your party. But as I said, I'm not very good at the Coliseum. I showed it off in one episode uh, uh, a while ago. I can't remember what number. And I got my ass handed to me pretty quickly because, well, it's all automatic. I can't do anything myself. I don't really like the Coliseum, to be perfectly honest. Everyone is pretty nearly equipped now, I believe. Just gotta fit. Yeah, yeah, it sets her up with a couple relics. Master Scroll is actually really, really useful. Unfortunately, I don't make very good use of it until, like, the final boss, I believe. I apologize, I'm a little bit, um, snotty. Not as bad as I usually am when I'm doing these recordings. I tend to usually pick very stupid days to do this on. Got the alarm earring just so I don't get um, attacked from behind. Because you know that's never a good thing in real life or this. And everyone's pretty much got everything they can. I'm just checking a few things here. The safety bit obviously really good. It'll affect. It'll protect you from a lot of um, instant death stuff. Not instant death, sorry, but a lot of um, element, elements. And yeah, just need to equip these guys with um, their espers and we can get going again. Just waiting past me. You know what? I've actually got a lot to say when we get to the credits. The reason why I'm leaving it for the credits is because that's just what I tend to do when it comes to editing. And although you've seen this lineup of enemies before, you haven't seen me take them on with this group. So I want to show how I handle this with uh, a group of the uh, team bro, shall we say. Because I, I'm not really... These are all the secondary characters and stuff that I don't tend to use as often. as my main um, quartet, so... You know, this is definitely a little bit harder. But not as hard as it could have been. I guess that... I'm, I'm struggling to say... Uh, articulate what I'm trying to say. It, it's not nearly as hard as I expect it to be, even though I wasn't going with my best team. Let's just put it that way. Pretty much it. Still not really that difficult, even with a team of a uh, secondary team. There, uh, I will, <coughs> if I remember correctly, I think that's for uh, lock. No, it's not. Apparently, it's not for any of these four, anyway. Let's see what it is for. Ah, it's armor. Breastplate that provides a 25% bonus to maximum MP. 
That's actually pretty good. Anyway, got three great Marlboros. This could end very badly here. It, amazingly enough, the instant death thing works. Yeah, I start using um, Bushido number one for um, Scion now because it does a good amount of damage and it only takes like a second to load it up. Not even that because it goes straight to number one, so definitely use number one quite a lot here. And we got pretty lucky with some of those attacks actually, a lot of the instant death moves actually hit. Actually, only done with science part, I think, for now. We got a couple of primeval dragons here. Again, nothing really much to worry about. Uh, they do hit pretty hard, as you just saw there, though. Not a lot to say. Just taking these guys down. Life shaver, I think drains you of your energy and gives it to them. Can I get my ass kicked here actually? These two are providing more of a fight than I expected them to. Number one is Fang, I just couldn't remember the name of it. And Team Bro here is getting their asses handed to them to buy some very stupid looking dinosaurs. I refuse to call them dragons, they look nothing like dragons. Where are their wings for starters? I mean I know not all dragons have wings, at least I don't think they do. That's gotta be nearly it. Yes, it is. There we go. So I took a bit of a beating, but everyone else did fairly well. Get everyone healed up. Toilet, apparently. Another random encounter. A demon knight and a yojimbo. Uh, I can't remember if these guys were actually difficult for me or not. As you can see, that the demon knight has uh, four arms. Uh, the yojimbo looks a lot like. It reminds me actually one of the Elite Ninja from the 2003 TMNT cartoon, just in blue instead of red and black. But yeah, apparently not going to be much issue. Everyone's kicking their ass. Going to use Fang now. Eye for an eye. Uh, basically, his desperation attack. He dies, so will you. It's actually another very annoying tech. It's very much like the ultimate thing from the um, uh, Fnatic Towers boss. You know, I, I really don't like those desperation attacks. I think they're actually very unfair. 
And it's like, alright, you kill me, but I'm just gonna kill you in, uh, because you're killing me. As you can see, we got another dragon here. Gonna take this thing on momentarily. I turned it away there because I do think I suffered a death there, actually. We got the Ultimate Buster. Forged an eternity ago, forgotten in the mist of time. Long have I pondered what I should do. Long, long have I pondered, but now it seems I have an answer. Why am I making him sound like an angry Irishman? Alright, this is not the hardest fight by far. Definitely harder than, um... I think this is... Uh, is this another dragon? I don't know. This might just be a boss. But yeah, uh, the reason these things started being a bit annoying, uh, all the mini bosses in Kafka's Tower, was because uh, I couldn't always use my uh, I couldn't use Team Blonde all the time, so I was stuck using Team Bro and Team Leftovers quite a lot, and it didn't go great. But I managed to just kind of stick with it, uh, try a couple different uh, tactics here and there, and eventually it did work. I did manage to beat them, so. You know, it's just a simple process of tri trial and error, really. I do like this thing's design, though. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the reason I got float on Searcher is because of that very move right there. Quake kept screwing me over big time in this uh, boss fight. Uh, as I said, I game over once, I think. Uh, because Quake does like over, well over a thousand damage, and it does it to everyone, so... A strange light surrounds Ultima. Right, what you want to do here, I found, is not be there when he unleashes his power. Best thing to do is to get in the air, and the best way to do that is with a uh, Quartzilla. As you can see, he's using Ultima, but obviously I'm not there, so he can't use it. And also, I'm probably going to get, uh, Locke's probably going to get knocked out here, but the fact of the matter is this does a lot of damage to him every time you fall, so, you know, you're, you're averaging roughly between 25 to 3,500 damage. You know, I, I did a good chunk of, uh, damage to him there, and, you know, it worked out pretty well, actually. And he's using Meteor here. This is definitely hard. This has definitely got a lot more attacks than I remember it having. Uh, thankfully, it didn't knock out either of my party, but uh, even member, sorry. But I am pretty low on health. Uh, on health for uh, Sion, but he will. He does have Angel Wings attached. He will regenerate a little bit of health between turns. Unfortunately, I gave Ultima Buster some uh, health back there. He's Fang again. I say quick and quite powerful attack. And at this point, it's just pretty much a war of attrition, really. I know he's pretty low on health at this point. I'm just trying to make sure I don't die. And there you go, that's the ultimate buster beaten. Tips for that battle make sure you have float on at least one character just in case he starts using Quake. I would also recommend having, as I said, Quartzilla on your team. Uh, well, equipped to one of your team members, uh, just in case. Uh, oil, uh, sorry, Arise, I think it's called, is a pretty good move to have, just in case Ultima does get off on your party. Uh, yeah, other than that, you should be okay. 